Our ocean is the largest ecosystem on the planet, made up of small sub-ecosystems which have been built and balanced for thousands of years, but still so very fragile. The corals, fish, mammals, and other sea creatures coexist together. There are over one million species in our ocean, and we only explore about 5% of our ocean seabed. We know more about the moon's surface than our ocean's floor. Unfortunately, man has done a lot of things to put the ocean's ecosystem out of balance, knowingly or unknowingly. Pollution and overfishing are just a few things we have done to our blue planet. In the last 30 or so years, we found another way to damage the ocean's ecosystem. This time, we've brought something called invasive species. USDA says that, as per Executive Order 13112, an invasive species is defined as a species that is non-native or alien to the ecosystem under consideration and whose introduction causes or is likely to cause harm to the environment, human economy, or human health. Invasive species can be plants, animals, and or other organisms, such as microbes. Hi, my name is Mike Marco. I'm a project manager at eConsulting Group. Uh, our latest project is a website, StopLionFish.org. Main objective of the StopLionFish.org website is to make public aware of the threat imposed by uh, an invasive species, lionfish. Uh, lionfish has a negative impact on a coral reef life and ecosystem overall. Lionfish were introduced to the Caribbean Sea and Atlantic Ocean coastlines in the mid-80s. There are around 16 different types of lionfish. However, in the Caribbean Sea and Atlantic Oceans, two types of lionfish are dominant. Terrori volantins, origin from the Indo-Pacific Ocean, and Terrori miles. Where do we get lionfish from? There are a couple of different theories possible scenarios that talk about how we got lionfish in the Caribbean Sea and Atlantic Ocean on the U.S. coastline. Uh, first theory says that the lionfish got released by pet owner. Another theory says that lionfish got out of the, some labs in Florida after hurricane season. Uh, there is a theory that says that some of the hotels in the Caribbean Sea that have uh, aquariums with uh, lionfish did not distill water uh, before the releasing water into the ocean, those causing the, the eggs of lionfish to get into the, into the ocean. And another theory says that some of the ocean liners, ships, when they suck the water in their balance tanks, they also suck the, the lionfish with that water, and that's how they brought the lionfish from Pacific Ocean to Atlantic Ocean. The density of lionfish can reach up to 1,000 lionfish per acre. They spawn every four days with up to 15,000 eggs per spawn, totaling in over 2 million eggs per year. Eight out of 10 visitors here in New Jamaica are not aware of the threat imposed by lionfish invasion. I am sure the same is with continental USA. Communities that are affected by lionfish invasion, they tend to put an action plan, response plan to deal with the threat. Uh, a couple of years ago, Jamaica government introduced an incentive program, an education program, for the local communities to make them aware of the lionfish invasion threat, asking them to focus their fishing uh, from a local population fish to the lionfish. As a result of that, areas in Jamaica that implemented that action plan, response plan, are now putting the local fish in balance with the lionfish. Areas when we didn't have enough resources to respond to the lionfish threat is basically allowing lionfish to spread and take off. And this is a good example for the USA government, and I think the USA government should put some kind of a response plan, incentive plan in place to build, to deal with the lionfish. Uh, just contacting the, the local dive clubs, uh, dive divers and fishermen in the area and providing them incentives to go and get a lot of fish out of water. On the other hand, I do believe that government should provide some incentives to supermarkets and restaurants to include lionfish on their product list on the news. Without natural predators, the lionfish population grew from only a few to millions. 
Lionfish have been rapidly spreading throughout the Atlantic coast, Gulf of Mexico, Caribbean Sea, and Central and South America. The government of Jamaica gave us an incentive to deal with the lionfish as a high priority project. Um, we provide education to local communities, training to divers and fishermen um, about the threat imposed by lionfish. Jamaica's people fully depend on the health of the coral reef ecosystem. We cannot just sit and do nothing. Every lionfish out of the water is a step forward to re repopulating our coral reefs. Okay, so what is the problem about lionfish, to have a lionfish in Caribbean Sea? Uh, lionfish in Caribbean Sea does not have a natural pet. Uh, in Pacific, lionfish has been hunted by uh, groupers, sharks, barracudas and eels. Uh, we have those species here as well in Caribbean Sea and Atlantic Ocean, but they are not used to with lionfish, so they don't hunt them. As a result of that, lionfish is spreading all over. And it's basically a uh, very uh, predatory fish. It eats everything. Uh, the worst case scenario, it eats eggs or youngs of their own predators. So basically there is no future balance that can be established in this ecosystem. In other words, there is like unlikely chance that there will be a predator that will come into the game to balance the population of the, balance of the lionfish. For that reason, man has to intervene. Uh, the, another challenge with the lionfish is that they spread very quickly. Every four days, they release, uh, the female lionfish can release up to 15,000 eggs. And again, they're just spreading all over, eating the coral life, damaging the, the fish, not only for commercial fishing, but also for the small fish that take care of the coral reefs, that clear the coral reef, etc. Those fishes have been eaten by lionfish as well. Uh, once they take over the, la the area of the coral reef, uh, lionfish tend to uh, eat their own youngs. So these little lionfish start going to shallow waters. So there is a survey that says within five to 10 years, if you don't do anything, the lionfish will end up in a six feet of, uh, of water. In other words, in a, in a coastlines nearby the, the regular swimmers. So it's not that we are trying to hunt lionfish for no reason. We wanna provide a chance to the local fish to populate, to stay in balance with the, with the ecosystem until the natural predator emerges to work with the lionfish. So why should we uh, hunt lionfish? Besides the fact that we want to protect coral life and give a chance to local fish population, uh, scuba diving is a great uh, exercise. It's a, it's a way to burn carbs. So if you're in a good shape or you want to be in a good shape, if, uh, if your health is good, I invite you to join us in this trip and, and help coral reefs in the Caribbean Sea and Atlantic Oceans. Join StopLionFish.org project. The first step in dealing with the uh, lionfish invasion is education. Uh, our objective with the StopLionfish.org is to develop education material and training videos to help divers learn how to handle lionfish, how to handle equipment to deal with lionfish, how to handle lionfish, and how to handle the reef uh, uh, where they engage at lionfish. At this point, uh, only National Park Services, uh, part of U.S. Department of Interior, some universities, labs, research facilities, and some dive clubs, and some local communities start developing a, re a response plan uh, how to deal with the lionfish. Uh, the purpose of this website, StopLionfish.org, is to reach out to the individual divers and bring them into the into this project. Uh, it's estimated to be around 2.5 million divers in USA. 
if only 20% of those divers, which is half a million, decide to go one day a year and hunt lionfish and take one lionfish out of the sea, that means half a million less lionfish in the ocean, which is more chance for local fish to repopulate and stay in balance. Beside regular scuba equipment uh, to successfully hunt lionfish, there are a couple other items that you should include in your, uh, with your equipment. I would definitely recommend uh, gloves to protect you from the uh, lionfish uh, stings. Um, sting, being stung, stung by lionfish is a painful experience, so definitely you want to include some of the gloves with it. Uh, also, you can have a knife, uh, we call it alligator knife, to clean the lionfish once you cut it. It's a very useful tool. Light, especially for the conditions when you hunt lionfish in the caves or during the night time. And then eventually slingshot and, and spear gun. So, uh, lionfish tend to uh, show up in a school of lionfish packs and that's why actually they got their names lionfish because they uh, hunt in packs right uh, if they in a pack they are more confident and they're not gonna run away so basically you can just pick them up with a, with a slingshot uh, you can use slingshot also for individual lionfish but if they in a cave or they are under the rock etc on the reef I would not recommend the slingshot I would recommend a spear gun uh, because it can be a, a more cleaner shot in terms of avoiding damage of the uh, coral reef by itself. Either way, you need to develop uh, your own skills and practice while working with either of these equipment. So where do we find lionfish? Uh, the other day uh, I found out three pieces of lionfish in eight feet of water, literally less than 100 yards from the coastline. Depending on the size of the lionfish and uh, environment, uh, lionfish tend to be on a seabed. Let's say if they're school of lionfish, if they're confident, they, they tend to just be on a seabed and dominate the color area. If they're individual lionfish or small lionfish, they tend to hide under the rocks, under the, inside the caves, uh, within the pillar corals, etc. So really locating, locating uh, lionfish requires some physical activities, your ability to maneuver around the coral reef without damaging coral reef and be able to approach lionfish and target it and basically take out of the water. While entering the water, be aware of other divers and the environment around you. Handle equipment with care and safety. Secure any sharp objects and do not point them toward other divers. While you're under the water, keep the spear gun or slingshot unloaded until you establish buoyance. You do not point the spear gun or slingshot toward you or any other divers or reef itself. Avoid touching the reef. Make sure you know what is behind your target before you release the shot. You can hunt lionfish with nets, slingshots, spear guns, traps, etc. Regardless of the technique, the number one rule says safety first. Before you sign up and join the Lionfish Challenge, make sure that your health allows you to engage in this activity, your equipment is always checked before you enter the water, you always act responsibly and safely for your benefit, benefit of your dive body, and benefit of the coral reef. You are a skillful diver who could multitask underwater and handle equipment safely. Seventy-five percent of our planet is covered by water, mostly connected through oceans and seas. So where can a lionfish be found? The lionfish natural habitat is the South Pacific and Indian Oceans. As it stands right now in the Caribbean Sea and Atlantic Ocean, lionfish can be found anywhere from six feet down to 700 feet of water. However, they do have some places they like to hang out. They favor spots such as caves, under reefs, and openings inside corals. This is where they hide from predators, but also prey on small fish, shrimps, etc. If lionfish take over an area, the large lionfish tend to stay in a school and hunt like that. 
cruising over the seabed or hovering over the reef. If they rid the area of native fish, they tend to go after the small lionfish. That, and looking for food, are two reasons why there are small lionfish in the shallow waters. You are very likely to miss the shot if the lionfish is swimming away from you. As you can see, she makes moves every three or so seconds. Again, target and release the shot while the lionfish swims towards you. You are above her or approaching her from a right angle and or a 45 degree angle. Never when she swims away from you. Likely, the other diver was able to catch this lionfish on the other side of the reef. Your success while hunting lionfish depends on the environment, such as temperature, location, and current. Active movement underwater requires a lot of energy and air. Your ability to control ascending and descending through breathing is critical. If located within the cave, lionfish tend to go on the top, on the ceiling of the cave, and they turn upside down, so they put a belly toward the ceiling, and they needle, put their needles toward the outside uh, to protect themselves. Uh, also, uh, if they in a, uh, if they're a small species of the lionfish, they tend to go inside the, the cave and blend with other fish. So you gotta be careful when you're shooting lionfish to know what's behind that lionfish. So once you locate the lionfish, uh, make sure that you're aware of your surroundings or of your own environment. Again, you don't want to touch uh, coral reef, you don't want to damage coral reef. Uh, while you're hunting lionfish, either by spear or by by your hand or by your fin, etc. Be aware of the surrounding fish as well. Uh, if possible, once you locate the lionfish, position yourself, uh, make sure that you're negative, that you can stay buoyant um, in, in balance. Uh, control your breathing so you don't kind of move up and down. And once you position yourself and you, you aim the lionfish on a either 45 degree shot or face shot, you know, you aim and you release the shot.
so the question is how do we approach lionfish? Again, depending on the environment, depending on the size of the lionfish. If it's a large lionfish day, and if they're in a school uh, of lionfishes, then very likely you should use a, a slingshot and just pick, pop, pick them up and put them in container, basically. If, uh, if it's a small line of fish, then probably you can use the slingshot and, and uh, penetrate that line of fish, taking care of the coral reef and other life that's around that line of fish. Um, line of fish tend to, to learn as any other species, right? So if you miss them once, they, they learn from their behavior and they stay away from divers. Again, if they're in a school pack, they stick together and they're not afraid of the divers. As a matter of fact, I even saw situations when lion, lionfish will turn around and attack the diver. So where is the best, uh, what is the best approach to, to, to shot uh, lionfish? The best, the best way to shot lionfish is with a slingshot from the top of the fish. So basically, if you're swimming above the, the lionfish and you just poker from the top, right? Another way, if flying fish swims toward you, so basically you aim in her head and you shoot the lion fish from the face, right? Because she's swimming into the shot. Most of the time, lion fish should be, should probably they would position themselves to be in a parallel with you, right? So that's a good shot, especially if you aim the the uh, the front head of the of the lion fish, right? Uh, while you're aiming on a lionfish, be aware of that, that they, every two, three seconds, they tend to move. And that, if you're shooting in that, during that period, you may move the, uh, miss the target, actually. So, when you're targeting, target lionfish under 45 degrees angle. So basically, she's kind of drifting toward you and the uh, spear gun or slingshot is coming on a 45 degrees angle. All right, as you can see, uh, some of the shots that we made here, the we were targeting the, the middle, the, the upper body or middle of the, of the lion fish. So uh, this shot was from the top and this shot was on the side, right? Once you get the lion fish, the things that you should clean are fins, uh, dorsals, etc. These are the parts that they have a uh, uh, poison, right? Uh, in a case, if you get stung by lionfish, just try to squeeze as much blood as possible. Uh, in worst case scenario, you, your, your, your hand will swallow for a while. Put it on an ice, hot water ice, and that's supposed to help as well as vinegar. Uh, also, consult your health care provider just in case if you're sensitive to some of these poisons. Again, you are likely to miss the shot if the lionfish is moving away from you. Once you locate the lionfish in the cave, establish balance. Let her get used to you. She may even swim towards you. After that, aim and release the shot. Control your breathing. Lionfish like caves with two or more exits. So, if there's danger on one end, they can safely get out on the other. Divers should catch both small and large lionfish, since they both cause damage. But while large lionfish can be easily stored and could be a delicious meal, small lionfish can find a way to escape from the container. Thus, it is recommended that the small lionfish be cut into pieces and given to local fish to eat, with the hope that some of them would develop a habit of hunting and eating lionfish. As it stands right now, in the long run, countries in the Caribbean Sea region will be able to balance lionfish population in shallow waters. Simple, because local divers would fish lionfish every day as part of their diet. In addition to this, the visitors can come year-round and fish lionfish as well, which is not the case in the Florida and Atlantic coastlines, where weather conditions do not allow everyday diving. Local divers in the U.S. can go to the supermarket if they need to, not every country in the Caribbean has this option. On one hand, some innovations, such as submersible robots, can be used to fish lionfish in waters below 120 feet, which may help the US. But on the other hand, due to lack of funding, other countries in the Caribbean region could not afford this option. Thus, 
they would not be able to deal with the lionfish in waters below 120 feet. This is not a win-win situation. Lionfish should be viewed as a regional problem and not as a country-by-country -country issue. A lionfish can consume prey greater than half of its size, causing a significant impact on the coral reef's life and businesses in the affected areas. In some affected areas, lionfish have reduced native reef fish by more than 75%. Lionfish have predators such as bass, groupers, sharks, and eels. However, these predators in the Caribbean Sea and Atlantic Oceans are not used to lionfish. Therefore, until a natural predator emerges, we must continue using mechanical tools to remove the lionfish, such as nets, spear guns, slingshots, etc. It is easier to fish large lionfish rather than small ones because large lionfish are more confident. They do not run away and sometimes, due to obesity, they cannot swim that fast. As a matter of fact, large lionfish tend to challenge the intruder in their area by swimming towards him, which, in the case of the scuba diver with the spear gun, means swimming into the shot. The small lionfish have more predators to worry about. As a result of that, they tend to move around quite often, making your targeting more difficult. Be careful while handling your equipment, especially the container, since its size and weight can cause you to hit and damage the reef. If possible, lay it down to the seabed and go for lionfish. This way, you could achieve better balance and accuracy. Too many bleeding lionfish in your container can attract unwanted party, such as sharks, so be aware of that. Always dive with your dive buddy for safety and efficiency reasons. One can carry the slingshot and spear gun while the other can carry the container, or one can be the shooter while the other one can be the spotter. Lionfish have 13 long venomous dorsal spines, two short venomous pelvic spines, and three venomous anal spines. If you get stung by lionfish, immediately squeeze as much as blood as possible. The pain is equal to the pain if stung by a yellow hornet. You can apply hot water to the spot as well. Again, prevention is better than correction, so use the gloves. Fishing lionfish with the slingshot is more challenging than fishing with a spear gun. However, it is much easier and faster to reload the slingshot rather than the spear gun.
to what is sometimes the most challenging thing, as you can see. And it's not, it's not that rough sea, but still it's a challenge. After you catch lionfish, there are a couple options that you can do. Uh, first one is, if it's a large lionfish, we recommend that you clear and you cut your fins with the alligator knife and you basically prepare the lionfish in container for future use. Um, if it's a small fish, lionfish, I tend to cut small lionfish into pieces and you feed to the, to the local fish, trying to, to kind of teach them that they can eat lionfish, that they can attack lionfish and kind of put themselves in a balance with them. Preparing lionfish should start as soon as you catch one. In other words, as soon as you're underwater, you have a, a lionfish, cut the fins, cut the needles, put it in a container. Uh, lionfish is a very tasty meal, and there are few supermarkets in the United States that are trying to sell lionfish right now. There are some restaurants that are including lionfish in the menu as well. Um, pretty much lionfish has a taste of shrimp, so with a couple of ingredients can be a very tasty meal. Dealing with the uh, lionfish invasion is for some people just an adventure. However, for some local communities, that's a matter of survival. I do believe that we will still have a few things left to do here. Step one, provide incentives to local communities, to local dive clubs, fishermen and scuba divers to continue removal of the lionfish from the water up to 120 feet. Step two, invest in a research and development project that will result in development of the submersible device robot to continue removal of the lionfish from the water below 120 feet. I hope that over a period of time a natural predator will emerge that would eventually put the lionfish back in balance with the existing ecosystem in Caribbean Sea and USA Atlantic coastline. At the end, I would like to invite you to join this effort as well. Thank you for watching this video.